In order to create art, in order to spend time on YouTube videos, in order to post stuff on Instagram, you're going to have to spend a lot of time alone with yourself. And if you hate yourself, it's going to be really hard to create any art. Announcement before the YouTube video starts. I am doing a coach-a-thon this week because I'm officially a certified coach as of two days ago. Woohoo! So I want to be coaching and helping as much people as possible, especially before the new year, so you guys get started feeling awesome. I've opened up way more spots for my breakthrough calls, and you guys, there is literally zero reason to not get on a call with me. Let's make 2019 your best year. Let me read you a testimonial from a breakthrough client of mine. I didn't expect that even in our free session that I was already going to start seeing things differently. I gained the littlest bit of confidence, which felt like a miracle to me at the time. Yes, this can seriously change your life like it has changed mine for the better. And it's freaking free. So come get on a phone with me. The link is in the description. And now, enjoy the episode. Hey guys, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for pressing play and listening to me about why you feel like giving up. So I know about this topic pretty well. Uh, I gave up on art and on YouTube multiple times, so this is going to be a good episode, y'all. It's coming from <laughs> real personal experience. You, this is probably a problem for you because... Maybe you're on the verge of giving up. Maybe you're kind of like so close to, you're like, you've had it. Um, the anxiety is just getting too much. The frustration is getting too much. Um, you know, you're maybe starting to think things like, uh, why am I even doing this? What's the point? I just want you to know that I really been there. I really get it. I mean, some of you who've been around for a really long time, like, know my up and down journey with art and with YouTube and with creation in general. I had, you know, a pretty big quit, I guess, like about two or three years ago where I really decided that I was done. <laughs> so, um, but I quit a few times and the first time I gave up on YouTube specifically, I mean, essentially I gave up on art as well. I was working at art like in my job. I was, um, you know, doing art full time, but I felt like it was a, a giving up because I was not doing it personally. It wasn't for fun. It was really just like a clocking in, clocking out type of thing for work. And I didn't do YouTube. And so the first time I gave up on YouTube was really sneaky. It didn't feel like giving up. And I wonder if a lot of you experienced this, not just with art, but with a lot of things. Like I think I do this for fitness or anything like that too. And it kind of just felt like I was suddenly too busy. And so at this time, I moved to LA. I experienced a breakup. I was learning new things. You know, I had a new job. Like, I really thought that I was living the LA life. Like, I was meeting people. I was reconnecting with people. Uh, I really believe that at the time that I was just busy, right? Quote, unquote, busy. And I just did anything and everything that I could do to get out of the house as much as I could. But really, <laughs> I remember spending a good amount of time in my room, super high, by myself. I heard this snippet on a TED Talk called Connected But Alone by Sherry Turkle. She says, if we don't teach our children how to be alone, then all they will know is how to feel lonely. And, you know, in order to create art, in order to spend time on YouTube videos, in order to post stuff on Instagram, you're going to have to spend a lot of time alone with yourself. And if you hate yourself, it's going to be really hard to create any art. The more I dive deeper into this work, like this personal development work, really trying to understand myself when it comes to my relationship with art, the more I realize how important it is our relationship with ourselves is. Like I was looking at procrastination from this lens of like productivity. Like I understand that it had something to do with the mind and how we think about procrastination, how we think about art. But really, like yes, planning is super helpful. 
Yes, being organized is really helpful for procrastination, for productivity, but everything, everything that I've learned, it always leads back to our thoughts about ourselves. It always leads back to the essential skill of loving ourselves. It's truly the foundation for everything. And I think I've always been a little nervous about talking about loving ourselves and all that kind of stuff because it could sound a little bit too, like, preachy or a little bit too soft but really it seems to be the basis for so much success and for relationships to our very little of us know how to be alone I think most people say that they are introverts I used to believe that I was an introvert I actually have no idea what I am anymore because I was really wondering like am I an introvert just because when I'm around people, I have a lot of thoughts that make me feel anxious. And so when I'm anxious, that's really energy depleting. And so then I think that when I'm alone, I'm recharging. And so that, that's why I'm an introvert. I really don't know. I do wonder if it's possible that I'm an extrovert, but I'm just, I just have terrible thoughts <laughs> um, when I'm around people that make me end up feeling anxious. But yeah, I think most people say that they're introverts and that they need time alone to recharge but I want you to really think about what you're doing when you're alone. Are you constantly on your phone connected to the internet? Are you watching videos? Are you checking Instagram? Are you playing video games? Are you watching TV? Are you reading comics? Are you doing literally anything to ignore your own thoughts? So what I really want to harp here, I really want to emphasize, is the reason that you feel like giving up. It's not because you can't do it or because your art isn't good enough, or because the work is too hard. It's purely because the thoughts that you have while you draw, or the idea of being alone with yourself working is so unappealing. As well as the thoughts that you have about your future when you're thinking about your art currently. If you're having thoughts like, you suck at this, you're never going to amount to anything, you're never going to get better, why aren't you good right now, why aren't you better, why do you suck, you are going to feel super fucking shitty. And then it's no wonder that you want to give up. Right? It's no wonder. The reason we want to give up is because we need relief from the thoughts that we're having. The only reason we give up is because of that. It's not because of the work. Right? It's not because of the artwork. It's because of the kind of thoughts that are usually very mean about ourselves while we are working or when we think about our art or when we think about our future. Right? Most people think the reason they feel shitty is because of the work not being good enough, which, by the way, not everyone can agree. Right? There's no such thing as like work that's just not good enough because not everyone can agree when something isn't good enough. Artwork in itself is, let's just say it's a piece of paper, right, with a bunch of ink or colors and stuff on it that's laid out in a certain way together. That is what artwork is, <laughs> which is the most neutral and dry description of what an artwork is. And then we have thoughts on it, like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This makes me feel amazing. Wow, that's amazing. But not everyone can agree on that, right? Like, think about your, think about somebody that you freaking love, that you think is like, anything that they do, it turns into gold, right? Anything that they create is just amazing. Somebody else hates their artwork. There's always somebody that doesn't agree with you, which means, right, that it has nothing to do with the artwork. It always has something to do with ourselves or it always has to do with other people. Okay, so I want to give you this scenario of two artists. So there's Jerry. Let's say he's like at a level two skill when it comes to art. Whatever it is that you think level two is, that's what Jerry is. Jerry really looks up to Matthew who is at a level 10, okay, at a level 10 skill in his eyes. So Jerry is at level 2, Matthew is at level 10. Okay, now Jerry is really struggling and wants to give up. He's really upset that he's at a level 2, and he keeps thinking that if he's at a level 10, he would be much happier. Since our feelings drive all of our action, 
Then Jerry being upset all the time about his work is causing him to procrastinate and essentially micro giving up. So this keeps him from being at a level 10. So how did Matthew do it? Because he's at a level 10, but he was once at a level 2, right? Like Jerry. So if he was at a level 2 at one point, but then why did he not give up? How come he kept moving forward? If, if the reason we give up and stop is because of an artwork, right, is because we're at a level 2, then none of us would ever pass level 2. Matthew clearly had different thoughts and feelings, even when he was at a level 2. Matthew didn't look at his level 2 work and get upset, which would cause him to give up or to procrastinate. Matthew was maybe thinking things like, I'm learning so much, this doesn't look good, but that's okay, I'm supposed to suck. So again, the reason we give up is never, ever because of our work. Our artwork is neutral. So if the reason we give up is not because of the artwork, and it's actually because of our thoughts when we're alone with ourselves, when we're alone with our artwork, guess what? <laughs> Giving up isn't going to solve that problem. I deliberately gave up on art and YouTube in 2014, I believe. It wasn't an I'm too busy one this time. It was really like a, hey guys, I'm done for now. I need to take a break. I am going to stop for a year or something like that. I was really open to the idea of letting go being called an artist. Like that was really how much I thought I was done with art. The initial relief from the anxiety was nice, sure. But still, I was left with myself and my own thoughts. So now I'm alone with myself and I had given up entirely on something that I loved. So if I thought I was mean to myself before, whoo, it was so much more uncomfortable to give up than it was to keep going. It was so much more uncomfortable to stop art and giving up on YouTube than it was to do the mind work in the moment because at least when I was doing the mind work and I was keeping going with art, there were times when I felt really proud of myself. There were times when I did achieve something and I was happy with what I was doing. So I know it sucks guys. If you're really in the middle of this right now and you're kind of like, I don't want to do this anymore, I really get it. I know how that feels. I know how unbearable it is. But I'm here rooting you on. You can do anxiety. You are so much stronger than you think. You know, this is what I do. This is what I can help with. If there's anything that you want to talk about, you can learn to think different thoughts. You can learn to love yourself and love your work no matter what. And that is what I was, I've been trying to learn too, is like, learning how to love myself, love my work, no matter what, so that then I will never, ever give up on it. And for me, I know now what it feels like to give up, like really give up, um, where I deliberately stopped and it doesn't feel good. Like I really know the difference and it's so much better to keep going because the, op the alternative is you give up, you know you're going to come back. You know it's going to call to you and you're going to want to try again. All of us, we're humans. We want to overcome the things that hold us back. We totally do. It's part of, it's in our nature to evolve. It's in our nature, nature to overcome things, to solve problems. But if we give up, then all we're doing is slowing down. Why not just keep going, right? Just keep going you're doing, you're going to be doing the same thing anyway, and at least right now you're in momentum, right? If you give up, you're going to have to ramp up again. I'm rooting for you. You can do it. Get on a call with me if you need some help. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you in another video. Bye!